Hi, if you watched my previous video, you'll know it was about a scheduled power down to replace a broken power pole in my local area. It gave me a chance to check the HF bands without any local interference because everybody was powered off. Uh, but it did highlight when the power came back on. I do have a strong local QRM source and this video is about hunting that source down. I hope you found it interesting and useful. So after a lot of research on QRM and RFI, I decided to make a directional finding loop. So this is the design of the loop. It's a 900mm length of coax. Uh, I'm going to use RG213. It's terminated at the end with a T-piece and there's going to be a PL259 on each end. I've bought the cheapest PL259s I can find. I'm not going to use my good compression ones. Um, and basically the coax goes round to the top. The top has 20mm uh, of the braid bared off so there's just the core there and then it comes back around and terminates at the bottom of the loop again. This connection is a normal PL259 connection with centre and braid and the other connection is braid only. So I'm going to finish my coffee and start building the loop. So we've got one plug on, fitted in a normal way, still needs soldering. Uh, and this one now needs fitting uh, with just the braid. So uh, time to fit this one. Not forgetting the all important job of putting the cover on first. How many times have we made that mistake? Now I'm just wondering whether I should just put a bit of uh, tape on that just to make sure there's no chance of it connecting. Um, so I might do that, a bit of tape. Or probably better still, um, I'll just cut some of the uh, dielectric off. I'll pop a bit of that down there and that should ensure there's no connection. It's probably a bit too big. Yep, so that is covering the end of that pin. So now, in theory, That's okay. I can see through that gap where it's insulated. And that braid's got a good connection. So I'll now just tidy up the end with a bit of tape and solder that tip. Um, we know that one hasn't got a tip. That one needs soldering and then to, to trim there. So I'll do that next. And despite the bird song in the sunshine it's actually freezing out here it's about zero degrees i've just been waiting for the, the soldering iron to warm up hopefully we're about there now yep so just need to solder this one end and i'm just going to wrestle it into position it is easier said than done Uh, 
and that looks good so now just to double check we'll get the multimeter out just check the connections so you should always check your connections I'm sure you know that but it's worth repeating so we're going to check the outers contacted yep there's no connection between the outer and the inner that's correct uh, and unusually this time we're going to check that the center doesn't conduct all the way through to make sure we've insulated it correctly yep so there's nothing coming through there just to check nothing coming through the center because we've disconnected that end with the outside coax the shield still connected so now we have to bear off this 20 mil section at the top so that's the next job so you remember from the diagram uh, we now need to bear off 20 mil of braid across the center so we need to measure 450 along the coax because this is 900 long that's this center and then we need 10 mil either side so having wrestled the quacks into submission in the jaws of this workbench if I measure 450 which is there and then 10 either side 460 440 and now we need to bear that off so what I'm going to do just to make it easier and so we can see what we're doing I'm just going to put some white tape around the two outer marks so I know where I'm I'm cutting And if I'd planned properly, I should have possibly put some heat shrink along there. Um, but I'll just tape this up when it's when it's bared off. So now to cut through that coax. You'll find the braid is quite thick. So there's the centre and now with my wire cutters I'm going to trim that off. That's the theory. That wasn't too hard. Quite pleased with that. So now I can tape up over that. Remove this tear. there we go so now we get the T piece so that is the beginnings of the loop might need to support it just to take the strain off those uh, maybe a little broom handle or something but that's the start so I've got a patch lead uh, a female, double female to connect on the end. I just happen to have a bit of um, 20 mil conduit left over from a, a previous project that was the, off the mini horse uh, folded Yagi. Um, so anything non conducting and that will go something like that and it's long enough for me to hold and keep the antenna away from my head. Uh, so I won't interfere with its reception. Um, so that's next, just attach these together, hopefully straightforward. So there we go, um, cut a groove in the 20mm conduit, cable tied 
the tea piece put a female on because I didn't have a female tea and then I've got a long enough pole to hold that up high but any pole will do wood plastic anything that's non-conductive so patch lead on there rig on the other end ready to go I think now if you're a regular to the channel uh, you probably realise I don't have a hand portable HF radio so I'm gonna to have to use the 991A so to help I've bought a battery 3.2 amp hour so that will run the 991A on receive that was about well it was 14 pounds and I found the cheapest carry bag I could find uh, this is 10 pound so I'll get the battery in the front now I'm on here in the pouch and I'm going to have to cut a ventilation hole uh, for the fan and the now I'm on here and I'm going to wear this on my front rather than on the back fortunately it's got locks so it can't slide off the, those straps can't undo and suddenly drop the, the rig on the floor so rig in there, headphones on battery in there holding the loop and hopefully this is all going to work. So I've made some connections with the battery with the standard 991A lead and taped them so they can't swing together and I also realised I need to allow for the connections, I knew I had to cut a hole for the fan, uh, power uh, antenna and that one which sticks out. So what I've done is cut a base which is going to sit in the bottom of the bag and basically support the bag without the bag sagging uh, or the risk of the bag tearing. Uh, I'm going to have to cut some holes in the bag and this will help support that. So keep going with the project. So here we have the bottom of the bag. The material is quite hard to cut, so I don't think it's going to rip. Uh, vent for fan, coax connected, power lead, uh, and the power lead goes to the battery in the front pocket. Um, unfortunately, the lead's very long and it's bunched up in there, but that's all I had. Um, so in theory, we're ready to go. Now that's the plan. So use a QRM, which is me turning the loop. So it seems to be working. So I've been up and down the estate as far as I can get and the noise seems to be coming down from that way but further off the end of the estate so i'm gonna to have to go down uh, towards those older houses down there uh, down another road and see if i can track it so here goes we've got to the end of the road and it's got really quiet I'll just make it out there so I am getting further away from it so I do need to go down the other end so I'm at the back of my QTH where that power line is from the other video that changed and there's no if I turn the loop there's no noise here so I'm going to go down this road and see if I can pick it up again I'm getting close to a triangulation because this is the end of our estate and this is the start of the old houses. If I turn the volume up, right. seems to be down this way, so I'm getting close.
So I've come past the old houses, there's some more new ones being built and um, it's definitely coming from up there. If I turn the volume back up, I'll show you the loop. So it's that way again. No. Oh, there's a just reset there. So it's that way. So go back up. So apologies for the low audio, but this is the new bills. There is a, a new substation there. But again, we're heading back up to the older house. And if I turn the null, I'm going to turn the volume up, sorry. Definitely over this way still. So still working our way back up. So I've walked back up uh, to the old house near to our estate. In fact, that's the end of our estate. And this is the next one. And if you listen, definitely seems to come in that way. And in the next video, once we get New Year's Day out of the way, we'll see what comes of some door knocking. If you've liked what you've seen in this video, there are other videos on the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, if you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified of new videos as and when they're released. Thanks for watching.